Hey guys, Boone Down South. I have been hunting with a crossbow exclusively for the last four years. And I wanted to share with you in this video five things I've learned from hunting with a crossbow exclusively for the last four seasons. Hit that like and subscribe. history I grew up hunting my dad taught me to hunt when I was young from 12 years old I was hunting with my dad and we always rifle hunted that's what my family did and I always had that desire to shoot a bow and so when I was like 15 or 16 I ordered a whitetail hunter the original whitetail hunter compound bow kit by bear archery and this was a 48 inch compound bow multiple cables pulleys it was crazy it comes with a kit and I didn't know anything about archery. I didn't know anybody that did archery. And that's what I got started with. I used to go to the archery store. The guy was a jerk that ran the store. I, I, I shot in his range three different days before anybody even told me that I was carrying my quiver upside down. I had it mounted upside down. Nobody told me about peep sights, things like that. I didn't know what I was doing. This guy didn't help at all. But I was a total neophyte to that. But I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. And I went out on a management land in Florida and killed my first wild hawk. And that was just amazing, and I was hooked on archery. And I've shot compound bows my entire life. And once you start shooting a compound bow, and you go back to shooting a rifle, it's kind of like you kind of have that little downfall. It's just not the same elated feeling you get, same, same feeling of accomplishment. But years go by, I started having problems with my shoulders, and had to, and ended up having sur surgery on my left shoulder, then on my right shoulder, and then it got too much with that compound bow. And I finally had to go to a crossbow. And at first I was like, ah, oh, man, it's just not the same. But the reality is I'm hunting in the same style I do with my compound bow. I'm not like setting up over, you know, 50 acre food plots with a rifle looking for a 200 yard shot. I'm looking for a 20 yard shot. I still do that with my compound bow. So you still have that same level of excitement. Cause once you, a lot of rifle hunters don't understand this aspect of it, I think, because if they you only hunt with a rifle, you know, you're setting up for that. Hey, I want maximum exposure. I want to see as far as I can see. If I see a deer out 150 yards, I want to be able to take the shot you don't really get that opportunity with a crossbow or, or a compound bow. You have to learn to hunt close. And so there's more excitement there because when you see an animal, it's close. It's not 150 yards out. It's 25 yards out. It's 10 yards out. It's walking right underneath you close. And so you're setting up for those kind of shots. And so with a compound bow, that just carried over. And in the four years I've been shooting this, I've learned to enjoy this as much as I have with my compound bow, quite honestly. Um, now, having said that, I'm not against rifle hunting. In fact, in January, I'll be going on my first rifle hunt in several years. I'm heading to Alabama for a hunt, and they are big ag fields, and so that's why I'm going on a rifle hunt there um, with Iron Man Outdoors. I'm going to try that out. But anyway, just as enjoyable as hunting with my compound bow. Okay, number two. Crossbows with decockers are not always the best thing. So my crossbow does not have a decocker. A lot of crossbows do not. That means in order to unload your crossbow, because you definitely don't want to leave it cocked. That's not a good thing for these crossbows. But... To unload it you got to shoot it and so my routine is I mostly hunt at my house I've got a target set up I got a field point with a bolt sitting on top of that target and when I come in from my, finish my hunt I walk over there I load that that bolt on with the field point I shoot the target I unload the crossbow that's how you do it you shoot it to unload it a lot of people don't like that I think it's a hassle ah it's a house I just want to decock my, my crossbow so story here me and a buddy go to Ohio he's got a newer Raven R10 with a decocker and meanwhile, I'm shooting my crossbow every day. Every day I'm hunting because I get down, I unload. If I hunt in the morning, hunt in the evening, I've just shot it twice at my target. And what that tells me is my crossbow is on. My scope didn't get dinged, my crossbow's on. Well, he's been decocking instead of shooting. We're there a couple days hunting and he's got a nice buck that comes out. He's got a nice buck that comes out. He takes a shot and he missed it. And it was a nice, probably wall mount, Ohio deer. And he missed it. And he didn't know how he missed it. We got back, he shot his crossbow. And he was like a foot off. And if he wasn't decocking every time, if he was shooting to unload, he would have known that before we shot that deer. So that's just something to think about. And I thought, I didn't realize that the benefit of not having a decocker until that very moment, I thought, you know what? I always know my crossbow is dead on because I shoot it every time to unload. Number three, lighted reticles are the thing. 
they're the bomb when it comes to crossbow scopes. I'm just saying. You think about rifle hunting, you got your scope, you got your crosshair at that center point, you're typically good 100, 150, 200 yards from zero to 200, you know, like on a 30 out six. I'm in chai at 100, I'm good zero to 200 yards, okay? That's all I care about. The crossbow though, just like compound bow, you got multiple stages from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, you know, and when you get in that low light situation, you can't see those hash marks, man, especially as you're older, okay, and your eyes aren't as good. You can't see those hash marks, right? I've got a scope that has circles instead of hash marks for each spot, yeah, and it's lighted, and uh, I just switched this last year, and wow, what a game changer. Those first 30 minutes of shooting light, the last 30 minutes of shooting light, wow, what a difference. Right as it's super dark and starting to get a little light, I turn on the illumination to its lowest brightness setting, because it's too bright, it'll blow out what you're seeing. Put it very low, and over that next half hour, I'll keep gradually increasing that up until it's bright enough I no longer need them. But it makes such a difference for that first 30 minutes of light and the last 30 minutes of light. Lighted reticles are amazing on a crossbow scope. All right, number four. Now, this is pretty amazing, okay? What I've learned, now, let me, let me preface this with, I use Rage two-bladed broadheads. I've used them for over 20 years, compound bow shooting. I transferred them over to using them on a crossbow. They are amazing, okay? No matter what broadhead you have, you have to make that right shot. You have to make an accurate shot. If you're not making accurate shots, it doesn't matter what broadhead you're using, okay? But those Rage broadheads, they put such a hole through there, it's incredible. But what I've learned is shooting a Rage with this crossbow, I can get a better blood trail out of an animal than a lot of rifle cartridges. I was on a hunt just recently with a friend of mine. It was a youth hunt. I, he's got two kids that got drawn the same day. And I hunted with one of his boys so he could hunt with the other so they could take, go on this youth hunt. And he was using a 6.5 Creedmoor. He shot a little buck out in this field right before dark. We start tracking it. I mean, the blood was so small spots here and there. Very little blood on the blood trail. We, he did make a great shot and uh, the deer didn't go far, maybe 50 yards, if that, 40, 50 yards with his 6.5 Creedmoor. There was so little blood, I couldn't believe it. And a few weeks later, I shoot a deer with my crossbow. Man, I got a blood trail you can see just poof, easy. I mean, just easy. I mean, you can just look right ahead and see the blood. Day or night, it didn't matter. I mean, the blood trail you get out of a blade sometimes is a lot better than a lot of rifles. And of course, the better the blood trail, the easier it is to track. Okay, guys, number five, this is the biggie. This is the biggie right here, okay? If all you've ever done is rifle hunt and you're hunting over food plots, right you got deer coming in you decide to finally shoot that buck he shows up you shoot that buck what i've experienced at least on small food, i don't know how it is on these large hundred acre several hundred acre food plot ag, ag field farms but on smaller food plots i'm talking like acre to a quarter acre eighth of an acre those kind of food plots what i've learned you shoot a deer out of that with a rifle that field will not be visited in the daytime for at least three weeks that's typically what i say you may get a scratch that comes in but for whatever reason you've ruined that field once you make so make sure you shoot what you want to shoot because once you shot it that field is done okay for at least three weeks what i found with the crossbow is that i can shoot a deer the very next day i will have deer right there again in that food plot and it happens every time i've done it countless times where i've shot a deer in one spot the very next day i've got deer there and the reason is simple i think because you don't have that boom explosion going off you know, they hear something which equates to a branch hitting the ground falling out of a tree. And yet it spooks them and they run off. But they're like, what was that? What was that? Just when I killed my 11th deer last week, okay, with this crossbow, I had deer around me for 30 minutes still. There was a little spike and a whole bunch of those button bucks down there. And I was trying to go after the doe. I shot the doe. They scatter. I had one deer 10 yards behind me. The spike was 10 yards, not even 10 yards to my left looking around like what was that what was that and for 30 minutes they kind of start walking back down towards the food plot after i shot the deer and turns out the deer i shot was only laying 20 yards in the woods she died right away um very short blood trail but but uh there they are right back in the same spot i've got cameras on a lot of these spots i hunt and i've seen this time and time and time again you do not ruin your food plot when you shoot it with a crossbow you're not spooking the deer that you're out there hunting your whole area once you shoot that rifle you spooked a big area when you shoot with this it doesn't seem to bother them I mean, it spooks them for that moment. They hear that, you know, that ping, you know, but after that, they don't care. They come back. So the biggest advantage of this crossbow that I found, other than having a longer season, if you're just a rifle hunter, the biggest thing is that, man, I can hunt my property. I'm not spooking game when I take my shots. It's just, it's great. So there you guys have it. That's my five things that I've learned exclusively hunting with this crossbow. 
Number five is the biggest thing. So hope you can use that information. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments below. Hit that like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time.